Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Electrical Concepts. My name is Avigyan Roy and in this uh, video lecture I am going to talk about uh, two important uh, points. One is current chopping and one is resistance switching. So in previous video lecture I have discussed about striking voltage, recovery voltage, right? Uh, natural current zero, these things. So here I will uh, discuss uh, what is the effect of current chopping, what is current chopping, why is it happened, okay, and how to prevent this current chopping. So uh, let's get started. So in this video lecture, we will discuss about current chopping. Okay, so in my previous video lecture, I have discussed about what is natural current zero, okay, then restriking voltage, recovery voltage, etc. So here, today we will discuss what is current chopping. Okay, so before that, first we need to understand that in air circuit breaker or in ACV, the extinguishing power is independent of the fault current. Actually, if I talk about oil circuit breaker, okay, so they are actually the extinguishing power. <clears throat> that means that extinguishing medium generates uh, an opposing power that actually stops the arc, right? In oil circuit breaker, the medium is oil. So uh, that oil gets evaporated and produces the hydrogen that uh, actually stops the arc right similarly in case of air circuit breaker the medium is air and that air thrust will produce will actually stop the fault current okay so there are different methods but in case of oil circuit breaker that uh, process i mean that evaporation of oil the generation of hydrogen okay so those things actually depend on the fault current Higher the fault current, higher will be the extinguishing power. Lesser the fault current, lesser will be the extinguishing power. So that is okay. But in case of air circuit breaker, the extinguishing power is independent of the fault current. Okay. That means, doesn't matter whether your fault current is higher or smaller, the extinguishing power will always remain constant. And this is the reason why this current chopping takes place and, and actually this is the this is an disadvantage okay i will discuss why and how and one more thing see this circuit diagram you are, are already uh, familiar with okay i already discussed this circuit diagram in my previous video lecture although this arc and this capacitance these things don't coexist but in general way i have drawn this circuit diagram because when arc is there capacitance will not be there and when capacitance is there arc will not be there but I have uh, kept all the things at the same time. Okay, however, see the second point. Hence, the strong deionization may stop the current well before the natural zero. So, as I have said, the extinguishing power is independent of fault current. That means, even if your fault current is not that high in magnitude, maybe fault current is very small in magnitude, but your extinguishing power is very high. Because that extinguishing power will not change. Okay, it, 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 it's, it doesn't depend on the fault current. So even for the small magnitude, magnitude of fault current, the extinguishing power will be very high. And which result in uh, an abrupt fall of fault current to a zero. Okay, that's why I have written, hence the strong deionization of that extinguishing power may stop the current well before the natural zero. The current is supposed to be stopped at the natural zero point because at natural zero arc uh, actually gets vanished automatically. So that is the concept of natural zero uh, method, okay, which is called low, re low resistance method. But here the arc is getting uh, stopped or the arc current or the fall current, fall current is forcefully getting stopped well before the natural zero and as a result what will happen it will create a huge transient voltage it will create a huge uh, surge a huge energy dissipation will take place okay now we'll see the consequences i have written it produces a high voltage transient which causes the arc to restrike because in natural zero uh, at the point of natural zero uh, the current actually this c this formula here i square is the current actually so that current uh, that change in current is not very big because that near natural zero the current is almost zero it is almost it is going to be zero at the at the at near 
natural zero point all right and that is why the change in current is not that high and as a result during natural zero uh, process the voltage that uh, used to de develop across the capacitor that is not a very large that is actually if you compare if you go through my previous video lecture the equation that i have shown right that v multi uh, multiplied with 1 minus cos 2 pi fnt so if you calculate in that case the restriking voltage can be maximum of two times of the system voltage but here the current is not being zero near the natural zero point rather it is forcefully stopped well before the natural zero and as a result what will happen here also the same equation will be applicable and that case in that case here the current will be the change in current will be very large unlike the previous case in previous case the change in current would uh, was very small because the current was stopped near the zero point no, normal zero point or at natural zero point but here the current is stopped well before the natural zero point so automatically current will be very large because the current has to stop abruptly from a large value to suddenly zero so current will be very large accordingly your voltage will be very large so in that case the transient voltage is much more higher and as a result what will happen the arc will restrike okay so see the next point as the deionization okay there's interest there's an interesting part see as the deionization is still in action current is again stopped and it continues until further final interruption see actually that uh, deionization process suppose in case of yes circuit breaker your deionization a uh, deionization process is provided by the um, air or the huge air pressure or hu huge air thrust right so what will happen initially the current will fall abruptly to zero as a result a huge voltage will be developed across the circuit uh, circuit breaker contacts that is suffi sufficient to generate another arc all right and that is why another arc current will produce but deionization process is still in action so that deionization will again stop that arc again that arc current will be zero okay again uh, due to that sudden change in current voltage will be developed so here also it is a very repetitive process but one more thing that here uh, gradually the current gets reduced because at the very beginning current was very high but as it goes on the current will be automatically uh, decreasing in nature okay so it will be clear by uh, this phase diagram see this is the point of natural zero and suppose arc current is starting from this point okay and it is supposed to be zero at this point now due to that high extinguishing power what will happen see the arc current suppose this this point okay at this point suppose due to the high extinguishing power current falls to zero abruptly see current falls to zero abruptly okay after some time due to a huge voltage transient voltage across the circuit breaker another arc will produce another arc will produce which results in the arc current another arc current will generate see again the arc current is generated okay but in that case it the its magnitude is lesser than the previous case because deionization is still in action so always it, 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 it will keep on decreasing okay so now see again it will fall abruptly to zero and the arc is vanished again due to the sudden change of voltage will be developed that voltage will generate another arc to restrike again the arc is generated and it keeps on going and finally there will be a point where current got finally suppressed before its natural zero because at this point current is not sufficient to maintain the arc so this is the final suppression of current and there is no arc okay so this is called current chopping see current is chopped continuously and it is not at all desirable because continuously uh, current is falling abruptly to zero again it is coming back okay and uh, as a result a huge amount of energy is going to generate across the circuit breaker contacts which uh, will definitely damage the circuit breaker contacts and also the surrounding okay so definitely it, it is always desirable to prevent this disadvantage so how to prevent this let's discuss so for preventing the phenomena of current chopping we can use this technique called resistance switching it is very simple method see the circuit diagram is 
सेम एज प्रीवियस बट द ओनली डिफरेंस इज हेयर वन शंट रेजिस्टेंस इज कनेक्टेड अक्रॉस द सर्किट ब्रेकअप सी व्हाट आई हैव रिटन हियर ए पार्ट ऑफ फॉल्ट करंट फ्लोस थ्रू द शंट रेजिस्टेंस सो डेफिनेटली व्हेन एवर फॉल्ट विल हैपन नाउ द फॉल्ट करंट हैज टू पाथ्स टू फ्लो वन थ्रू द सर्किट ब्रेकर कॉन्टैक्ट्स वाया द आर्क एंड आल्सो बाय द शंट रेजिस्टेंस सो नाउ द करंट इज गेटिंग डिवाइडेड सो इफ योर करंट इज गेटिंग डिवाइडेड व्हाट विल हैपन automatically the arc current will be reduced now it is getting divided okay so it reduces the arc current and also improves the deionization so now the current here is reduced somewhat due to the division and if your current gets divided obviously it will improve the deionization process it will be easier to deionize the surrounding because now your arc current is reduced okay so the arc resistance is increased the moment your deionization improves the arc resistance is increased which further reduces the arc current obviously if your arc resistance is increased it will further reduces the arc current and it will keep on going see it continues until the arc current fails to maintain the arc it will it is a cyclic process and it keeps on going until the arc fails to arc current fails to maintain the arc one once point will come where the arc current will be very less so that it will not be able to maintain that arc so it will be completely vanished see here see it is gradually gone and the entire current now is flowing through this resistance so now the circuit breaker contacts are separated no arcing phenomena is there okay so that problem of chopping is gone but still the current is flowing fault current is flowing right so that we need to remove for that we use one external isolator so finally we disconnect the isolator now fault is completely gone so this is how by resistance switching we can prevent the current chopping i hope you have understood this concept okay what is current chopping how to prevent it using resistance switching all right so i hope you have understood this video you have enjoyed it and uh, please uh, like this video comment also share with your friends and please subscribe to my channel thank you very much um, in next video i will also come up with some good concepts of electrical engineering till then good